Okay, so we are back with another episode of I Don't Think You've Seen This Film. And this week, I want to talk to you about a movie called Suicide Kings. It doesn't get brought up that often, but it's a movie that I really think everyone should at least experience at least once. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I got nothing to do with kidnapping. We know that, but you got contacts to kind of know how to fix these things. I'm gonna kill you! What's going on in here? Are you scared? I came here to play poker, guys. That's what you told me you were going to be doing. That's why you wanted to use the house, right? That is not poker. Get out right now. Come on, let's go. Hey, and take your weird junkie friend with you. Okay, so now before I begin, I want to go over the quick rules of I don't think you've seen this film film series. There were Real quick, simple rules. One, I'm not going to do any spoilers of any kind. I want you to go into this movie as fresh as humanly possible. Next, uh, there's not going to be any f movies off of the box office bomb list in this series. Since I'm already covering those films, whether you should watch them or not, I'm just going to cover them there, and you're not going to see any of those on this film series. And then lastly, I'm not going to do any super popular movies like Lord of the Rings or Star Wars. This is going to be more obscure stuff, baby independent, uh, some major release movies that just kind of went by the wayside and people forgot about. So there's a couple of like summer releases that you might see, but it's just like they didn't get a lot of fanfare. And so with that being said, I'm going to get into this movie, Suicide Kings. Now, the general rough, non spoilery premise of this is the movie starts off with this guy, he's not exactly old, but he's kind of up there a little bit in his years, in his 50s somewhat, and he's kind of like a well-to-do person, kind of very successful person and he goes to sit at his favorite dinner booth at his favorite restaurant one night and there's three college kids just sitting there in his booth and he decides to talk with them and strike up a conversation with these kids sitting in his booth. Now that may seem a little boring but I'm trying to keep this as very non-spoilery as possible because once the story kicks off yeah, the story kicks off, and I don't want to spoil what happens in this movie. But the movie has an incredibly solid setup. Uh, it, it starts off relatively slow, and then just starts picking up the pace, and very rarely does it slow down till the end. There's a couple of slower scenes partway through, but they're very short, very brief, and this movie even though there's not that much action in this film whatsoever, the story, the characters, the pacing just keeps it up and going till the very end. And I absolutely enjoy this movie. It is a fantastic film. And one of the reasons why I love this movie so much is that there are two actors in this movie that basically are a masterclass in acting in this film. And those two actors are Christopher Walken and Dennis Leary. Uh, Dennis Leary has this one soliloquy that he delivers in this film that shows why Dennis Leary is an excellent actor. You may see him as a comedian, you may see him as just a guy who has a loud mouth and just plays like, you know, an asshole all the time, but holy hell, he has fucking magnificent scene of acting in this film and then the same with Christopher Walken literally the guy spends 99% of this film sitting down in a chair and he is at the top of his acting game I mean he is freaking brilliant in this movie and he's sitting throughout most of the film. That just shows how excellent of an actor he is. He doesn't need to get up or do anything. He can literally just sit in a chair for most of a film and just act, outperform 
almost everyone in the scene. Now that's not to say everyone else is a chump actor in the scene. A very young Johnny Galecki from The Big Bang Theory is in this movie. He was a delight in this film as well. I absolutely enjoyed his role. Jay Moore is in this film as well and he's not doing a comedic role. The guy's a comedian. He's a stand-up comedian. He's Most of his movies he's in, he's a comedian. This movie was the exception. This is a movie where he does not play a comedian. Yeah, he has a couple of funny lines, but nah. He is doing a very serious straight role in this movie. And so, like, the rest of the cast is also really solid. You have one of the Boondock Saints, you have Jeremy Sisko, or Sisso, I think it's Sisko. And I mean, just overall, the cast is really solid. You have, uh, the guy who plays Raymond's brother and everybody loves Raymond and like everyone does a really great job in this film. Another reason why everyone does a great job in this film or one of the reasons I should have said is every now and then in the movie you get a story told by one of the characters where it's Christopher Walken, Jeremy Sisso, Sisko, uh, Jay Moore. Oh, I completely forgot. <laughs> the the kid from E.T. is in this. He does a good job. I've, uh, Henry Thomas. It, you know, he does a pretty good job in this film. But going back to my point I was making, everyone does a really solid job whenever they tell a story. And they'll tell like a little story pertaining to something they're talking about or pertaining to a character that they're referring to. And each one of these stories are captivating. They do an absolutely excellent job just drawing you into each one of these little stories, whether it's about, uh, you know, a weekend in, you know, Atlantic City or about, you know, someone that someone knew. And it's like these are really solid, excellent stories that just kind of draw you into the experience. And then another thing I really loved about this movie was the humor. At times, this movie is funny as all hell, but it also knows when to be 100% serious when it's supposed to. And so it doesn't have that like MCU style of humor where every scene's a joke, even when a character dies or something like, no. There are really funny scenes in this movie, and then there are some really dark, serious, 100% straight face scenes in this film. And so, this movie does a perfect balance of knowing when to have humor and when to get really, really dark. And I really appreciate it about this movie, and I kind of hope that more movies kind of go along this route more than the MCU route. And so, with all that being said, I think you guys should absolutely check out Suicide Kings if you can. This is probably one of my favorite Christopher Walken films he's ever made. And he has done a lot. But I mean, just, he is absolutely a highlight of this film, along other actors who are not doing a bad job at all. Everyone does a solid job in this film, and this is a must-watch. I definitely think you should see this film, Suicide Kings. And so, with that being said, that's been my review of this film. I don't think you've seen Suicide Kings. My name's Christopher Carl with 11 Hour Views, and that will be all for today.